Hello guys, welcome to Steve Knows. I want to go over some of the best Oculus Quest games that are available. A couple of them aren't going to be available till the end of the year or perhaps early 2020. But I wanted to get all the best games out of here so anyone that was getting a quest over the holiday season would know what would be available without costing them a single penny. So let's just dive straight into the list and first is Mission ISS. Interstellar fans, this one is for you. It takes you into space where you can experience what it's like to be on the International Space Station. It's so realistic. This is an Emmy award-winning simulation. You'll get to feel the weightlessness of being in orbit. You'll dock a ship onto a space station. You'll walk out into space to see the vast emptiness of the abyss. This game also contains instructions and hints from real-life NASA astronauts. This is as close as you're gonna get from being in your living room to being miles above the Earth in space. Is there any better way of escapism? And the game visually looks stunning on the Oculus Quest. And the audio is also great because in space it's a vacuum. There's no matter, unless you're counting dark matter. But there's no air to compress to create sound. So all the audio elements are very different to what you'd expect. This is a really great, interesting, free title. Puppet Fever, being brought to us by Coastal Bike Games, is a very different VR title. This one is inclusive and makes use of our mobile devices in order for our friends or family to participate in a game. I think this is called Asymmetric VR Gaming. This title takes that classic seasonal game charades that everyone of all ages can be involved in and takes it into the virtual world and makes it more expressive and interesting. The user inside the headset is given a card that could be a movie or a profession, just some sort of word, and you have to act out that word using puppets. Your friends and family then have to guess what it is. You can have some hilarious moments by making things slightly different by your design choices, such as the Titanic in the desert or Notting Hill falling in love with ice cream. There is also a single player mode if you wanted to play this one alone and brush up on your puppeteering skills to impress people. The game has over 500 words, hundreds of props and puppets, multiple game modes and can support up to four players. Enjoy this one. VR Chat. This is an online social platform, but weird. It can be very, very weird. This game is so loved by the VR community for its fully customizable avatars, social interactions, and endless user-created worlds you can visit. You have the ability to use the game's SDK to create a custom VR avatar on your home computer. So you can create your favorite anime character, or if you can't be bothered, you can simply just buy them off a website too. It has a huge catalog of mini games to play with strangers and friends, or just hang out. This is a great one for creating fun scenarios with people's characters that will have you lolling, lameoing, ruffling, all over the place. I can't say anything that will do this game justice, you just have to try it. But I should note that the quest, it can have some issues whilst running on it because it's not a completely flawless game. But people love it so much, you can forgive the small shortcomings because it's so much fun. Rec Room, this is also a free to roam community game where you have virtual social interactions with users. And this is cross platform. So if you've got a friend on PSVR, HTC, Rift S or without VR because you can play this game on your computer or you can play it on your mobile phone as well so there's no excuses friends. You have your own little avatar that you can customize, give yourself a funky hairstyle, a beard, wear a suit. All of this is done in your own personally styled bedroom as well. It's really cute. Rec Room definitely boasts its endless imagination and interactivity. There is a huge myriad of custom games that people have made such as Nuketown Call of Duty, Fortnite Battle Royales, there's even an event runner where you have to free run in a time trial. This is a must-have game in my opinion, as you may not be able to afford a new game, but you can play this one for free and have access to a huge number of maps and rooms and genre of games here that people have created. This game also has a few running issues on the Quest's hardware, as the maps can be huge, the number of people can also be large, but there have been a few fixes since release, so it's not as bad anymore. Bait. This arcade-styled fishing game will put a smile on anyone's face who is looking to relax, kick back, and fish without leaving their sofa. This game has had a long-standing great response from the community as this is a classically old VR game. It's been around for many, many years, and every time I've played it, I just feel like I'm alone in the world and loving life. This game has a variety of locations to fish to keep things fresh, such as a sunny, clean riverbank, or a swamp accompanied by calming nature sounds. You get ranked on the fish that you catch, so the bigger the fish that you catch, the more points that you get, but there's also more of a struggle to catch them. Certain fish also require different baits and better rods, which can be purchased in-store, which is actually a store, not just a menu, which is kind of nice. So this is a very calming, relaxing fishing game that won't cost you a single penny. It's definitely worth a download. PokerStars VR. If you like to gamble or if you like to pretend to gamble, as I'm sure some of you have probably played on some poker sites, whether it's been with fake credits or real money, 
This game is an amusing experience, being able to sit down at a table with friends or strangers and actually play a game virtually with people just takes the whole experience to another level. The social interactions that are gained from this game being in VR just blows my mind. You can even pretend to smoke at the table, holding a cigarette, and get really into the role of playing a poker player. You can even take selfies with people at the table, or use a gun to hold people up and take all their chips. This game is just so much more than poker. You can even look at your cards like in a real game, put your chips down like in a real game. It's like a real game. So if you like playing poker but you don't want to spend any money, this one's for you. First Contact is an Oculus exclusive from Funbits Interactive. It's not so much a game, but an interesting free title to show off the Quest graphical edge in simple games, and the impressive interactions created from the standalone headset and its touch controllers. Which, if you're new to VR and haven't tried this since the cardboard days, this one is for you, and it will change your perception of virtual reality from being a gimmick to being mind-blowing. You awake in a caravan in some sort of high-tech trailer park of the future with a scared robot that you comfort and befriend. In return, this bot provides you with floppy disks, shout out to the people who remember those. On each of these disks is a blueprint for the 3D printer. You can print off rockets for you to hold and fire off into the caravan, musical instruments, even a space gun to shoot targets, and each of these items shows off different capabilities of the touch controllers. The game isn't long, but it is designed for you to exist in and just experience the VR world and to see what is possible. Pavlov Light, this isn't officially out yet, but the build is available and I've sideloaded it for a few months now, so I have been able to play it. It's going to be officially released as Pavlov Light on the 19th of December, and it's pretty safe to say this is a must-have quest title. Pavlov is a multiplayer shooter that is very close, or it even could be the VR version of Counter-Strike. It's an FPS shooter online multiplayer game where you have multiple game modes and we even get zombies. The game is more realistic than most with its in-depth reloading mechanic that is different for every single weapon, so it's important for you to train and check out all of the guns before heading out into the real world and trying to take on people. There are a variety of maps for you to play online with as well, with future map packs to come down the line. If you're the kind of person that doesn't actually like playing online, have no fear, offline mode is also here. What offline does is it replaces the real people with bots, so you can still have the fun, great experience without the noise of the crazy online game as we sometimes get. Facebook Horizon, this is an Oculus exclusive coming in 2020, but it's so grand that all other social platforms from Oculus have been shut down and replaced by this, so I thought it deserved a place here. It's a social VR world where you can explore, play, and create as much as you like, creating your own custom worlds with friends, fully packed with social games or puzzles for you to complete, so you can truly get lost in the virtual world that is Horizon. You can sign up for the beta now, which I have done. I also recommend you do that too, so you can get a game that you actually enjoy. The world provides you with a variety of tools to create your own world, alone or with friends. It's all about freedom. I know people have been saying this is Oculus' attempt at a Minecraft game, but is that a bad thing? Something I'm interested in is the ability to fly outside of the world into space to start expanding civilization. The world is virtually infinite as well in the confines of the hardware limitations of Facebook, which I'm pretty sure is huge. Big Screen Beta, brought to us by Big Screen Inc, is a VR social platform where we can all chill out, hang out, and watch something on the big screen. This is great for long distance relationships or getting together with the squad. This app lets you use your VR headset as a screen to play your video games, so if you have a small standard definition TV and you want some high res, bright colored visuals, you can stream to it. You can also choose from a variety of environments to watch the screen in as well, perhaps a classic cinema, or you could be outside with an open fire watching the big screen for some nice ambiance. They also have events on at all times for you to stay up to date with, such as a weekly 3D movie, which sets this apart as I don't know many platforms that are showing off the 3D capabilities in movie form, which all VR headsets can provide. Also with big screen TV, you have over 50 channels for you to enjoy, so if you don't have cable TV, this is a great alternative. It is also cross-platform, so no need to stress about whether you can play with friends or not, because yes, you can, to grab a beer or a soda pop and watch the game. So thanks for watching Steve Knows. I hope there was something there you found interesting, because I am aware that Oculus don't have that many free games. They're kind of funny about putting free games onto the store, because everything here was pretty much everything that was worth mentioning. There isn't much at all, so Oculus, please bring us some more. So thanks for watching Steve Knows. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.